you guys, what is going on? It's Blazonary here, and we are back. Today, you guys see in front of us, we have two packages. This is an overseas mystery box, and yo, I want to say big shout out to Squarespace, our sponsor of today's video. Go ahead and use code BLAZONDARY on your own website that you're going to create using the link in the description below. Overseas mystery boxes. These babies right here contain goods from the brands Bape and Supreme, but this is a pretty hefty amount we're working with today. A value of right around $5,000, I was told, in these boxes. I paid just about $3,000, so we should see some good return if this is true. And I'm gonna open them up one by one. If you guys are new around here, consider dropping a subscribe, liking this video, and uh, it's just great for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps out my channel, so just take a second, make that little like button blue, and without further ado, let's crack open this first package. I'll be doing a giveaway at the end, so watch the whole video, get comfy, enjoy the content we're about to have uh, in opening this first box of the mystery boxes. All right, here we go, let's begin. Oh man. That is a lot of stuff in this first package. Whoa, new top monitor angle alert. How's it look? Good? Hopefully it looks good. I'm testing it out for the first time. Uh, Blaze, what are you going to be doing with these items? Well, that's a great question. Some of them I'm going to be keeping depending on if I like it or not. And the other ones I'm going to be putting for sale on my website, blazonary.com. You guys know I've been selling and reselling for years now. It's been a part of the gig and I've just been excited to keep expanding the business and adding new products, new mystery box options. So go check out the site if you have a chance. Let's pull out the first item. First item, definitely gonna be selling this. I do not wear a size small in Bape. We have a uh, polka dot college tee. College tee, this is just a standard name for a Bape t-shirt with the head right here and a bathing ape in the college font. Like it's like a college logo basically. That's why they call it that. Looks like another Bape shirt right here. In this package is a size medium. Oh, look at that tag. That is a vintage, vintage tag. The Baby Milo on the front of the shirt in blue. This is definitely maybe a mid-era 2000s t-shirt. Yo, I did not realize there was gonna be a lot of heaters. Well, this box is worth a value of around 5,000, so maybe we should do a heater. Right off the bat, we're gonna get into a shark hoodie. Oh, this one's the cow. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize. I was extra lucky. I got to show you guys a really rare one. And I say shark every time because it's just a common name you call like uh, the face print over the top of the jacket. Uh, if you obviously pull it all the way down, you can see that you can wear it. This is definitely something you'd sell for like 200 bucks. It's got a gold chain around it. It's got like a little fence. It's also got lightning bolts in the eyes, which is a really unique detail. Another t-shirt right here. Let's see what we got. Okay, so this one's another older baby Milo shirt. Let's see what the design is on the front. Oh, that's really dope. It kind of reminds me of like a Mario shirt, like uh, the Super Mario star. But we have a little baby Milo figure riding on the star with little stars around it. And the back has a little blue Bapes the star. Definitely would be a really cool print to see on like a hoodie or something. It looks like we're gonna have to get into another heater because the heaters aren't just gonna stop, all right? The box price had to be made up somehow. So right here, this is gonna be a Bape jacket. As you can maybe tell from this right here, it looks like little ears. Uh, these actually are little bat ears for, well, a very old collab hoodie. This right here is the Batman collab. Size large jacket. It features the Batman logo right front in the center. And as well, the hood is special because it's got those, like I said, those little ears. Generally, anything Batman and Bape will do well over time. Anything superhero and Bape does well over time. And this is already a pretty old jacket. So I think the price of this could go anywhere from three to $500, depending on who wants to buy it, when they want to buy it, and the size they need it in. Of course, the condition too. Reselling is all about how you sell your item, not necessarily what the first price posted online is. Because that person posting that price online, that price could be wrong too. And you uh, both could be getting either a really bad deal or you could be selling it for way too much. Make sure you do your research when you're buying and selling these items because the prices, they're all over the place. And it's all about who buys it and the price they buy it for. And this one right here is a very old vintage box logo. Pretty stoked to have received it. I want to see if you guys can guess the box logo before I actually reveal it on camera. Can you tell based on this tag alone what box logo it could potentially be? When I show you this tag, I'm showing you that this is a pre-2000s box logo. All right, be sure to submit your final guesses because the box logo is 
the Burberry box logo from, I believe, 1998. And this is the navy colorway. And this is just a gem. I honestly might keep this for myself. Depending on what some of the sold listings have gone for, I'm gonna price this accordingly. It's really tough to price these kinds of box logos because the price is so heavily affected by the condition of each box logo. So one price you're gonna see online is not gonna be the same price for the box logo you have in your hands unless it's brand new. Best guess is to just throw a price that you're really comfortable with letting something go when you get an item like this. And if it sells for that price, great. And if it doesn't, consider holding onto it depending on what it may be. This box logo, I can only see good things happen when you know this shirt is gonna get a little bit older and it's gonna get a little bit harder to find. Rarity will drive that price up, so the Burberry box logo is a solid choice to get in a mystery box. Absolutely stoked I got it in this one. All right guys, right here we have another Bait t-shirt. This one is gonna be just a standard Bape head uh, with these little, these little purple stars on a silver face. The back is just gonna have a very similar graphic, just obviously no face. Just something cool I noticed, uh, the the newspaper is in uh, Japanese. It's just really cool to see. Um, look at that, a Legoland advertisement in Japanese. This is gonna be another one of those uh, Baby Milo obscurities, whether it comes from the brand Bape or the store brand, we'll never be able to tell unless we look at the tag. This one comes from the actual store itself, so this t-shirt could be like mid-2010s just based on that tag right there. Uh, and this is gonna be a long sleeve, really nice long sleeve in fact. I love the orange collar on the neck and I really dig just the simplistic print of the, the orange. All right, let's see what we got here. We have a bag inside of a bag. Ooh, you can just tell by the angry face. This is an old Bape shirt. Wow, check that out. Oh. Actually, this one might be, uh, this is the Bapeville shirt. So, Bape Evil, obviously, a little play on words right there. Super old shirt, and definitely rare to find it in this condition with minimal to no cracking on some of the parts of this logo. Yo, we got three solid heaters, and then we have a full, another box to get into. Let's go ahead and pull out this one. Ooh, we got a Bape Swarovski long sleeve. And is there anything on the back? There is, in fact, a bathing ape since 1993. Ooh, that texture. That's like a raised, uh, man, I don't even know what to call that. It's like rubber almost. Really, really slick. Absolutely love this. I might go ahead, keep this one for the personal. Yeah, this one's definitely gonna go in the personal collection. All right, y'all, heater alert. This right here, one of my favorite things to resell if you get it for a good price. We have right here another category of the Bape Shark. It's not actually a shark though, this is a tiger. The Bape Tiger Camo, uh, it's actually a spotted tiger camo, which is really, really cool. Love the contrast of the orange and the dark blue that we have on this jacket. Uh, just giving a quick look at it. There aren't that many loose threads or any uh, loose frays either. This shark actually appears to be in really great condition, uh, just based on this head. You can always tell the wear of a shark based on if this felt is like super uh, like dry and like hard and like crusty almost. This is not crusty. You could tell this is really, um, really soft. This has probably been worn maybe once, if even worn at all. I could see this going anywhere from 350 to 450, just depending on the size. Coming up in this little accessory pouch, what do we got? Right here we have a little Bape Baby Milo figure. So, oh, the arms move. That's pretty cool. Single bait tag, and what is this? I think these are little bottle cap figures, if I'm uh, correct. Oh, they most certainly are. Check that out, that's really cool. First one right there. And the second one, our standard little baby Milo. You could probably price this set at around 20 bucks, and this you could probably also price at 20 bucks. So this is looking like a $40 little bundle overall. Let's go ahead and talk about the sponsor of this video, squarespace.com slash blazonary. The link is gonna be in the description below. You guys can click on it, use the code Blazonary for 10% off and a two week free trial. Squarespace is by far my favorite website hosting platform. They have any range of templates to help you get started making a portfolio, a blog, or my favorite, of course, the e-commerce store. I built my website on Squarespace and you guys can do it too with little to no coding knowledge necessary. And when I mean little to nothing, guys, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to make this Squarespace website. It is so simple and you can do a free one. Just try it out. I encourage you to use that trial. I'll show you how to list this product right here for sale. So uh, follow me to the computer. First, take a picture of your item. And of course you wanna make sure it's in a well lit, nice background area. Make your listing, add your title. Of course, make sure your juicy description with all that good information. Just like that, you guys can see the page looks absolutely 
fantastic with a little baby Milo statue right here. So do me a favor, if you guys wanna use Squarespace to get started with your e-commerce website, head over to that link in the description below and use code BLAZENDARY. The second to last package in this box is going to be a heater. Uh, this is gonna be a Supreme van, obviously, judging from the outside of the box. All right, guys, a great indicator on this box right here, that little half tag, oh, that's amazing. That could potentially raise the price of the resale. Uh, ooh, and the Japanese little newspaper. Oh man, these right here are crispy. The blue checkerboard Supreme Vans, absolutely beautiful sneaker. I could honestly say this could go for anywhere from three to $400. Definitely a great sneaker for sure, especially if you're holding a dead stock pair, the price is only gonna keep going up. And guys, heater of the freaking evening. Right here, we have a purple on black Supreme box logo. This is a size large. Guys, I mean, my favorite box logo of all time is a little speck on it. Uh, it, it speaks for itself. It's a 2006. Purple is one of the rarer colorways that you can get for a Supreme box logo. With that being said, there are not that many of them. And this one happens to keep rising in price. I'd price this one because of the faded part of the condition maybe at around 600 bucks, which is still gonna be some great margin considering this box has just been some fire thus far. And I'll give you guys a little close up of that Baca. Such a great looking piece for sure. I would have to say uh, this particular colorway ranks top three favorite box logos of all time. Guys, that was the first box. Let's break down the second one. Oh, ah, never gets old. Let's see what we got. M -m Money shot. Whoa, this one is loaded with stuff, yo. Damn. And another Supreme van. Damn. All right, guys. Well, you know the drill. First up in this dryer sheet of a bag. What is this, yo? What kind of futuristic Ziploc is this? Right here, we have a white standard Baby Milo store crew neck. But in fact, this is actually, whoa, Bathing Ape Baby Milo. Keep that in mind. This is not Baby Milo store. Excuse me, I was incorrect on my statement and yo during corona season the vape tissues yep you heard it abc abc all the different special colored camos we have the pink the blue and the green and the tissues i really actually don't want to open them up i don't want to crack the seal because i think that these are just going to only go up in value i think these came out in what 2011 2012 they're pretty old I've seen this shirt before. This is a collab t-shirt between Bape and, I have to read the other brand. Ambush, the Bape Ambushed shirt. And you know, this t-shirt is much different than any other Bape t-shirt's quality I've ever felt. It's like, can you hear that? Silky. The logo with the big eyes, Ambush on the front. I mean, this shirt goes for, I think, a hundred bucks. I mean, hey, you wanna talk about hoodies? We can talk about hoodies, what do we got? Uh, oh, yo, I might have to keep this one. Damn, my favorite animal, the panda, top number one. I, I say it every time, panda number one, pigeon number two. Probably like a lion, number three, I guess, I don't know. Baby Milo store, boom, you guys see it. We're, we're busting them all day. Baby Milo store versus bathing ape tags. Uh, this is still nonetheless, just because it's Baby Milo store doesn't mean it's still not bape. To me, this is bape, I don't care. I don't know. What do y'all think? Tell me in the comments. Are you calling this Baper Baby Milo, yo? Yeah, I'm gonna definitely keep this. Hell, I'm gonna throw it on right now. Show y'all my commitment. Oh, it smells washed. How funny is that? We're looking fresh now in this. All right, let's get the next package. What do we got? It's another Bape crew neck. Uh, this one is gonna be that iconic Bape shark. Now, as you guys can see, it's a navy crew neck. Plastered on the front is just the zipper, the shark, and yo, the chenille patch on the sleeve, though. World gone mad, baby. Don't get it twisted. One of the more expensive Bape crew necks you'll come across because of the fact that it has this chenille patch on it, and it's also got in very good condition as well, intact, the other tiger print. Uh, this pretty much is a shark jacket, just on a crew neck. Let me know if you guys liked seeing these. I would be more than happy to do another one for you in the future. Yo, don't worry, we got one more item and a giveaway, so stay tuned. But yeah, like I said, tell me if you want to see this uh, more in the future. I would love to know. Yo, the Japanese uh, receipt for these, so cool. Haven't gotten a paper receipt from Supreme in, in a minute now. Uh, the red checkered vans. Boom, I might just keep the whole set, y'all. I got the blue now, I got the red. Now check that out. That's a sight 
for sure, yo. Damn, what a sight, yo. That overhead looking crispy. Oh, man. Wow, wow, wow. So cool to complete the set on camera today for you guys. Tell me, what did you think of this box? Did you enjoy it? The last item in this mystery box is going to be the Bape Shark. Oh, man, this is going to be perfect for July 4th with the stars, the stripes right here. Uh, I'm probably going to wear this for the gram and then sell it, if I'm being honest. Yeah, it's just a really dope one. Um, I haven't seen a Stars and Stripes shark in years. Like maybe about three, two years, something like that. Want to say congratulations to our winner of the shower cap giveaway from the previous video. Yo, this winner right here, big shout out to you. And I want to say the new giveaway we have are the posted flags. Just if I can give away a little something, some every video, why not? So if you guys want to win this right here, just comment down below your favorite item from this box. Such a free, easy way to get in a giveaway. And of course, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's your boy Blazonary signing out. Stay positive and peace out.